everyone, this is Jay Gaz Mom, and I'm here with... Uh, I, I'm Katie H, and I just wanted, and I just wanted to say, I, I really wanted to spend time with my mom, and I've missed you guys for ages. She's been dying to record with me for a long time, and it just hasn't worked out, but today is recording day. And um, we've saved this game, especially for this occasion, and it is called... The I Love You Colonel Sanders. That reminds me, Aunt T taught me the old, a finger-looking good dating simulator. That's just <laughs> like Aunt T singing the, the Kentucky Fried Chicken finger-looking good. Yeah, most people nowadays don't know that song. Oh, yeah. So, are you ready to start a new game? Yep. I turned the the music down. Do you want to hear it at all? I want to hear it, please. And I just want to say, hi, I'm I'm Katie H, and this is this is Jig Ass Mom. It is. I mean. We already introduced ourselves. Sorry, well, I was going to do it first, but I Are was you ready? kind of for being in the... Tell us your name. What should our character's name be? Welcome, Chef. Are we playing as a colonel, dude, or no? No. We're trying to romance him. I know! <laughs> what should our character's name be? We can name it after the Andre Simulator character, where instead Ayano Aishi doesn't doesn't like murder. She loves the romance and the food. It should be a name that you're willing to say over and over and over. Fine. I know a name. What? How about Mary Anna? Takashima. No, that is too long. And every time they, they instead of saying Mary, they, they'd say the entire name. Mm. You gotta do one name. Oh yeah, one name. Luca. Luca. From the folklore. Are you sure you don't want to name it something goofy like death? Uh, no. How about we name it something goofy and fun? Like? And I, I also like naming names. Banana? How about... Banana Anna? No, you gotta say that every single time they talk to her. How about... I love you, Banana Anna. That just doesn't sound romantic. You're right. I love you! My sweet... Sweet what? Colata! <laughs> no. My sweet Coca-Cola! No, that's a brand name. We'll get in trouble. Oh, no, 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 no. My sweet strawberry! My sweet grapefruit! My uh, meatloaf! No, all right, enough. <laughs> <laughs> you said we'll silly. go with Luca. Yeah, it's a folkloid name. Okay. Luca McGurney. And also Are you ready to get started? Almost to you to you, fellow folkloid fans, whether you're new at this or not, do you know that when you pair Luca and Miku, you get the Nechi Toro pairing? Especially if you combine Miku with Luki or Mikuo with Luca, it's like a Nechi Terry Toro pairing. I even looked it up on some wiki. Enough. You're driving me crazy. Yeah, and it's two TMI, isn't yes, it? Yes, it, it has nothing to do with this game. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. What? <clears throat> want to get in? No. I want to no. be able to act it out. When I read, I like it. Uh. Cool. That is a lot of chicken and biscuits. Uh, well, uh, sorry. <clears throat> okay. 
You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of calling your school is no time to sleep in. I, I want to kill this game. Hawk, 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 Which hawk. one? Smack that alarm up and get him. You don't want to throw it out the window and stay in bed forever? I want to pick the first one. Okay. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling. Thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Look at that poster of a chicken on the wall. Oh, everybody was kung fu fighting. You think so? The only the chickens move fast as like. You think it's like Godzilla, only it's Chickenzilla? Maybe it's Chickzilla. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away with you. The first one. Are you sure? Why? You don't want to daydream a bit thinking about the future. Oh. Either one. Daydreaming about the future for the win. It's here, finally, your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare. So many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities. When you realize you're running late, you grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. Really? Mm, delicious! Just what you needed to wake up those taste buds! That, that chomping noise was obnoxious. Just so, as obnoxious as the phone ringing in the background. You know, going, ka, ka, ka. Am I the only one that likes it? Let's wait a minute while uh, the phone stops ringing. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Why is this like this? Cool, it's, it's saturated. Don't, don't bump me. Sorry, it's all saturated a bit. Nifty, it's a chicken UFO. Nice try, potato overlord. Am Are you ready? I'm ready. I was embellishing. And am I close enough to the mic? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yikes! You're in such a hurry. In fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets buckets as she I mean as you rush to arrive on time. Uh oh uh. No. <clears throat> Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. <clears throat> Excuse me. She is the most adorably awkward person you've ever met. And you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Luca. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am... Excited. A little nervous. Okay, okay. A lot nervous. What's the... 
it's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. What if I fail? That boo-hoo-hoo -hoo wasn't in there. I know, I was just improvising. Classic Miriam, ra raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Mm. Ever since we were little babies playing together, and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. Quick sandbox. What? Probably a sandbox. They're, they were obviously make believe even when they were kids. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> but with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous free daily semesters. I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Oh, why? That was not there. I was improvising. She's nervous. I tried making her dramatic. Yeah, yeah. A sweet girl. <clears throat> Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Pep talk! Remember last month when we saw that fortune tarot teller and had our tarot cards read. Tarot cards. Tarot cards. Tarot. Tarot cards read. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares. I've been trying to forget. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower and that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. <sighs> and I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. What? Can you believe I cut them all myself? Yes. Oh, that was my them. All. Yep. See. <laughs> I was I was improvising. I had a bit too much fun doing that. You can definitely believe it. I uh I cannot believe it. Your before you can get another word out. You're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! It's Ashley. Oh, Ashley. It's Ashley. You're a tribal. She's totally evil. But you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get everything she wants, and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh, 
I didn't see you there, chickens. Chins? You leave Luca's shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Ugh. You can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley. But she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. 